Hi, I'm Gautam Kulkarni. I am a children's doctor in London and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a super fun health education channel for parents, children and even doctors. Rishi has a milk allergy. He avoids milk products. His parents are on a date and have left him with a babysitter. She orders him a dairy-free pizza. Rishi is having a reaction. His face goes red. His chest is getting tighter. He has a big vomit. His babysitter calls the ambulance. They inject him with an EpiPen. A few weeks later he comes back to the hospital for an appointment to see a doctor. Rishi has skin prick tests which show a reaction to dairy and egg. His blood tests show specific IgE antibodies to cow's milk and eggs. IgE antibodies react with proteins in food to trigger the immune system and cause an allergic reaction. In summary, Rishi has a severe IgE-mediated allergy. Some children with an IgE-mediated milk allergy will outgrow their reactions. Nola too had an IgE-mediated cow's milk allergy as a baby. She was started on the milk ladder when she was one. She can now eat an ice cream, though I prefer she eats apples. Ruri is 8 months old and is always crying. His mother tried breastfeeding but stopped and started formula milk as she felt he was hungry. His stools were very loose green with mucus. They are now very hard and he struggles to pass them. He has been given creams for eczema. He continues to vomit his milk at times. Ruri has a full checkup and his mother, Amy gives a detailed history of his symptoms. Ruri has a non-IgE mediated milk allergy. He doesn't need any test to confirm the diagnosis as an experienced doctor can confirm this with a detailed history and examination. What are the symptoms of a non-IgE mediated allergy? Abdominal discomfort, vomiting and diarrhea are very common presentations in young babies, along with constipation or colic. There could be dry, itchy and red skin or eczema. Symptoms often take longer to develop, hours or even days rather than those of IgE-mediated food allergies, which frequently occur within minutes. What is lactose intolerance? Rita normally prefers soya milk. This summer, she has been having smoothies and ice creams made from cow's milk. She has been having quite a few tummy aches and diarrhea. Her gut isn't breaking down lactose, a sugar and dairy effectively. Symptoms such as diarrhea, stomach cramps and pain start within a few hours of consuming products with lactose. In our gut, the enzyme lactase, should break lactose down into glucose and galactose, which are then absorbed. If there isn't enough lactase, the unabsorbed lactose moves through to the large intestine, where bacteria break down the lactose, producing gases. These, cause the symptoms of lactose intolerance such as flatulence and bloating. Lactose intolerant doesn't cause skin rashes or eczema. It is important to understand that all mammals including humans produce the sugar lactose, but have a different milk protein. What are the types of lactose intolerance? Primary lactose intolerance is very common. Genetically, some children produce less lactase enzyme as they get older. They may tolerate breast milk fine and symptoms may only start later in life as they get older or even as adults just like our patient Rita. They can tolerate some milk products, but feel unwell if they have big milkshakes or ice creams. Others may not be able to tolerate any milk. Secondary lactose intolerance is due to another condition which damages the area of the gut producing lactase enzymes such as gastroenteritis, celiac disease, Crohn's, and antibiotics. This can spontaneously improve when the underlying condition improves. Congenital lactose intolerance is a rare condition that runs in families and is found in newborn babies who have very severe symptoms of diarrhea and weight loss. Rishi still has a severe milk allergy. His parents are very careful and have avoided a severe allergic reaction. Ruri tried the milk ladder and can now have milk products. He gets constipated if he has cow's milk and Amy has kept him on oat milk. Rita is negative for celiac disease. She avoids fresh dairy products can have small amounts. She has discovered lactase supplements for the occasional treat. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos on children's health conditions.